Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So I'd had a question about how I'd put my ABS pump back together, in especially in reference to the electric motor. So I'm going to take the thing apart and then put it back together. First thing we need for taking it apart is the Torx 25 or a 25 Torx. And what we're going to do is remove the two holding screws. Now these two screws go all the way through the body of the electric motor, all the way through the body of the ABS block, and into the electronic control unit. So the way I like to do it is to remove the electronic control unit first, gently pulling it off, being careful not to bend these two pins and then with a little bit of force pull on the electric motor. Now and that's it, that's basically a part. If you've messed about with these in here you must make sure that these line back up after all roughly middle because the bearing is set off center. Right now putting it back together is reverse we take the motor, add it to the shaft, and gently turn the motor and apply a little bit of force until it slips in. Once you have it roughly in place, you want to put a screw into it. So we'll put in the long screw and holding it because we don't want to bend these two pins we are going to insert the pins from the electronic control unit into the block at the same time inserting all the pins at the, uh, from the ABS block into the electronic control unit we're going to lay it down make sure that it's nicely lined up Apply a little bit of pressure, put our two torque screws back in, tilt in the ABS block for camera angle. You see it's now just popped. That was the rotor from the pump seating. And then normally these would be torqued up to 6 nm newton meter. And that's basically it. That's how the pump was put back together. Okay. So I wish you all best of health. Have a good day. Until next time. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the content, please put a like on the video, add a comment, and support me with your subscription. Thank you very much.